Daughters of the American Revolution. That's what, that's what D-A-R stands for. I'm sure if you're a daughter of that, you're probably pushing 70. But anyway, that is what that stands for. It was erected in 1913. And it was erected in 1913 in memory of Patriots of War, American Revolution. So, Colonial Park Cemetery is not only a cemetery, it is a park during the day for visitors and tourists and people that live here a lot. It used so, to be a playground for the children that live here. Yeah, and actually used to be a playground for the living. I mean, they had like swing sets and, and slides and all kind of creepy shit. So, just to give you a little, a little mindset about this very interesting cemetery, Georgia's oldest cemetery, Colonial Park. So, it is so windy tonight, it's almost like a horror movie coming to life. Anyway, this is Colonial Park Cemetery, which is right behind me in Savannah, Georgia. Now, used to, you could walk through here after 8 o'clock, but at 8 o'clock, we started closing it because of all the crazy things that have been happening here in the cemetery. Now, I'm telling you, Sherman's army couldn't even take it when they dug up the bodies out of the tombs in the night because it was because underground to be a little bit warmer. They even jumped out of the cemetery. It's so scary, I'm telling you. But just a brief history about Columbia Park Cemetery. Remember, it was not the original cemetery for Savannah. Most of the cemetery plots and people that are buried are actually underneath squares and houses near the river. But when they expanded the city and built streets, they had to move the cemetery. But at the time, it was disrespectful to dig up the dead. So all they did is they just moved the tombstones, the headstones, to the cemetery. Now, there are a lot of dead bodies here, but there's a lot of old tombstones that belong to other bodies that are actually laying up against the brick wall. Now, tell me, that ain't creepy. And